Hola, my people. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Well, it's feeling great out here today. Seriously, um, this is the best day it's been, I think, since we moved here to Virginia. It's so uh, cool outside. Look, it's, it's overcast. Can you see that? Oh, yeah. It's nice and overcast. And uh, I think it's in the 70s right now. It feels so good. It, it's crazy because I'm used to the Florida weather where it pretty much stays horrible summer all year long, except for, for like one month where it gets kind of cool. So I'm loving this. Uh, me and Tracy Bear, uh, we were planning last night. We looked at the weather and we saw how cool it was going to be today. So we decided to um, beat the heat and come out here today to work on the garden and i'm really excited i can't wait to get this kitchen garden in i mean i sit up all night long thinking about this kitchen garden like i can't wait until right behind me all of this all of that is just filled with plants and i know that sounds kind of nerdy <laughs> i realize that but i love plants I just, I love um, good food and I love fresh food. I love healthy stuff that doesn't have a bunch of chemicals on it. And I also like to save money because I don't want to spend, you know, $5 for an organic tomato <laughs> at the store or something like that. When I can just grow it myself and I know where it came from. So I can't wait to get my plants. I'm still waiting for my Baker's Creek seeds. Come on, Baker's Creek. I'm waiting for them so that I can get this planted for the fall and the winter. And I'm really, I'm really psyched up about it. And the little boys, Trace and Elijah, they're really excited about helping. Um, if you watched our last video, we worked on getting this one right here done. This one looked like this when we started. So we made a little planter, took out um, a bunch of these rocks, and all those rocks are actually over here now, but. We're gonna be using those to make a walkway um, back in the back to do some more gardens. We're just doing a little bit at a time. So if you're interested in uh, doing a garden and you know, maybe you've never done one before, maybe you don't really have a green thumb, I would suggest to start small. You know, like get one plant in a pot, take care of that. Get a little tiny little garden, little bitty and, and work on that until you get more comfortable and then just get bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, so we are getting ready. Here's Tracy Bear. Say hey, Tracy Bear. Wait, wait, do you want me to sit here? Yeah, say hello. Hi, hi. <laughs> so we're getting ready. We are going to be working on this area. We got to finish getting all the rocks out of this bed here. <clears throat> and uh, we're going to put down soil, hay, all that stuff uh, and work on that. So we're going to bring you, hey, we're going to bring you along with us and show you what we're doing. So. All right, have fun. Oh, look, we grew a cup. <laughs> so what are we doing? What's our goal, Tracy Bear? So you can uh, explain to them what exactly we're doing. Are we just the hoeing out. the ground for no reason? What getting are we doing? Getting the rocks out. Getting the rocks out. And I'm working on this part too, getting it all on into this pile. Yeah. So we have a little bit right there and little small ones. And once we get all of these up, <clears throat> then we can uh, put down the hay and put down the soil and get this garden bed ready for when my seeds come. I'm so excited. I can't wait. I'm gonna do a box opening. I know, I know that that sounds so silly, but I love it when people open their boxes on YouTube. Is that, is that weird? Do you guys like that? I know that my kids like it. They like to watch that like, you know, unveiling <laughs> what was in the box. So when my seeds come, I'm gonna do a box opening, little show for you guys, show you what I got, show you the seeds, talk about some of them. I'm so excited about it, I can't wait. I really cannot wait until those seeds come and then I can put them in the ground. So, yeah. <laughs>
Yesterday and today we worked on it. Well, yeah. More of me. <laughs> All right, we just got that little bit left. I'd probably use the little hand tool for those little bitty rocks. Tracy Bear is my little gardening apprentice. <clears throat> He's learning the samurai ways. making a garden. So we got the uh, little garden bed finished up. I'm gonna show it to you. I um, had to get changed and make my grocery list uh, and head to the grocery. And then when we get back, we're gonna do um, a family tree for history for school. So uh, maybe I can get some video of that. I think that that would be fun to show you guys. So let me turn this around. Here is the bed that we made today. So it is ready to go. And um, we should be getting the seeds, hopefully by this weekend, I really hope. So I can get this planted um, later this evening since it's really cool today. We're probably gonna work on this little patch uh, right here and get this ready right here. And um, this weekend, I plan on getting this one. So we're gonna do the same thing here that we did right here where we kind of split it up. It's shaded. You can see how this is shaded. Half the day, uh, this gets light, but this part never gets light. So we're gonna do the same thing over here. Let's just split it right here. It's gonna be a lot of work, but I'm really grateful that the weather's cooperating. It's not really hot. Um, we don't even get up to the high 80s until later next week. So this weekend is perfect to do this. Uh, if you like to garden, if you're trying to get a garden bed ready, I would suggest to um, look, at, look at the weather and take advantage of the cooler days. If it's a cooler day, then go ahead and get something done. That, that's great. It's, it's miserable when it's like 90 something degrees. Um, and you know, I, nobody enjoys that, but gardening can be really enjoying if you plan it, make a good plan, look at the weather and that kind of thing and work together. That's, that's the good part. That's the fun part. So anyways, we're going to head to the grocery store. Um, and we will catch you guys a little bit later when we get back. Later today, the kids started working on their project for homeschool. Uh, we used the Weaver curriculum 
and it's very hands-on and it's multi-level so that you can homeschool multiple kids at one time um, there's not a lot about it online but if you have questions feel free to uh, message me I am or email it doesn't matter um, we love it but they are creating their family tree for part of their history and they've been having a lot of fun working on it to dry. If your poop looks like that, you might have a problem. Why? My poop don't look like that. My poop does. I'm a dinosaur.